Well, here I am. This is going to be the last day of the walking. I think this might be the hardest day. I had a blister on my foot last night. That's pretty, uh, but, uh, it's pretty good. You see how many pilgrims I see out here this morning. I think I can get breakfast up here pretty, pretty soon. We're gonna see. Oh, there's a guy heading out right now. Yeah, so here we are. This is, uh, O Pedrozo. Gotta do a slight backtrack. It's off the it's off the uh, it's off the Camino, I don't know, a kilometer, maybe one and a half kilometers. But uh, so today's day eleven. No rest days. And uh, today should be walking in Santiago. This is gonna be it's not, it shouldn't be the hardest day, but it's gonna be pretty rough because my body's pretty beat up. My right heel is just killing me. And uh, I've got a rash on my right ankle, which I think is, I probably walked in some kind of bush, poison ivy, that type of thing. But uh, yeah, Whew. 11 days, man, it's cold out here again today. Gotta get the thing over my ears. But uh, yeah, so day 11, man, we're, uh, we're getting in it. Today's gonna be Santiago. Hola. And uh, so yeah, hopefully, I'm thinking there should be a band playing or something when you walk into town. <laughs> but I think it's gonna be anticlimactic. <laughs> Time will tell. But I did get a hotel room for two nights in Santiago. I got hooked up on booking.com, so let's get that figured out. All right, we'll see if I can get breakfast here. It looks like this uh, pension hotel, cafe bar. Oh, there's people in there. I can get food. All right, more to come. The drama never stops with me. Okay, so I walk in there, get my breakfast. You have buffet for nine and, and six for toast, coffee, and juice. So I got the toast, coffee, and juice, you know. And uh, cause you know, the buffet was basically that. So, very nice lady and uh, got all my stuff together. I always say thank you to your servers. You know, they're working hard. So, you know, make sure I say thank you to her. And I stamp my little credentials and I walk out of there. And, you know, I get my stuff on, I start walking. And um, I go to make my video and no phone. <laughs> Turn around, she's gonna running after me. Uh, <clears throat> man. My mother used to say, if your head wasn't attached, you'd forget it. So, <laughs> so that's breakfast. I went ahead and got breakfast because the the, the uh, reports are that I do better with breakfast. That's what people say. So, so I'm on the Camino now. I'm, uh, I think, going to Pedroza somewhere. I gotta go find it. So yeah, day 11, here we go. I'm walking for about 10 minutes here. And by the way, I just turned on my tracker. 15 minutes into the, into my thing. So my workout's gonna be way off today. Anyway, so, um, I got on the trail. These guys said they were leaving at seven yesterday. My Australian friend. He's right in front of me. He's on the phone. He's talking on the phone. I can tell it's him. But, uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, so here we are. Um, day 11. Let's see if we can make it today. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just getting harder. But, uh. My body's like, okay, my body's quieted down, kind of. We can just do this. We've been doing this for a while now. Yeah. And it is what it is, so. Yeah, today's is going to be the home stretch. It's 
super, super excited uh, to be uh, in the home stretch. I went on booking.com, first time ever last night. I learned how to rent, get a hotel room. Now we're going to see if it actually is the, for the right day and all that stuff. But, uh, and, I, and I bucked up and got a nicer room, so... Yeah, if you know me, you know, it's, it's all about uh, the finances. And so, but I, I stepped it up and got myself a decent room tonight. So it's going to be better. I'm going to get a bed I can actually across in. It's going to be that cool. I do have a real, I think it's got a bathtub too. It's even going to be better. I'll be down at the, the pharmacy or whatever they call it. And uh, getting some Epsom salts. Do about two hours of that. Maybe some bubbles. That could be a video, you never know. Anyway, more to come. I'm still smiling, I think. Okay, see you soon. Get over that range today. If you look in the sky, there's a jet. Yeah. Commercial airline up there, so that tells you the <laughs> getting closer. Yeah, I gotta go over this mountain range today. Gotta climb up this. And then I think the lady today I've been tracking for a few days. I saw her this morning, she was at the breakfast place and uh, she said, Oh, there's one big hill. And after that we have to go down, so I'm pretty sure this is it. This country is just one valley after the other. We just kind of keep going through them. So yeah, get over that hill and I think I should be able to go down. Might even be a view of Santiago. We'll see. I think I briefly read about that last night. More to come, man. More to come. Getting closer. I'm getting excited. If I go way up there on the left, that's my Australian buddy. He's leaving. <laughs> Younger. He's a walker. He's, a, he's a faster than me. But he'll sit down and I'll keep going. At some point, I think. That's what happened yesterday. I never saw him again. But he's a he's a trooper. He's a good guy to track with. He'll keep you going. Whew. Oh, this walk is a trip. <laughs> Just walked to some little, little person selling stuff on the side of the road over there. And, uh, I woke up and I said, I know that guy. And, and the lady who stayed in the hotel next to me yesterday, sure, key was on in the door, so she had not left yet. So I think uh, she walked out when I was having breakfast. So <laughs> she's like, oh, Gary. And I woke up, there's a little group of people looking at the guy's trinkets. And uh, I said, I know that guy. I woke up, sure enough, he's carrying his camera and stuff. It's the Asian guy walking with a 68-year-old mom from Canada. You probably remember from, I don't know, three days ago, four days ago. I was walking with them, climbing up, uh, climbing up to El Sobrero with the Canadians. We were all kind of walking together, trying to, trying to get each other to go. But uh, yeah, yeah he's, he's the guy who actually shot those videos of, of me walking from behind. He, he airdropped him when I was in Palo Alto or whatever that place was up there. So, <clears throat> community, I guess, huh? So I decided to stop and get a coffee. And guess what I found on my jacket when I took it off? Yeah, a bird. There's birds everywhere. And I got right in front of the got right in front of the crowd here. It's filling up pretty good. But uh decided to stop at my Australian friend David. Australian friend David. <laughs> yeah, but you can see it's it's G'day, packing mate. up here. It's it's what's that? 
G'day, mate. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Gotta hear that. Yeah, as so I was packing up here, you know, getting attacked by the birds. There's uh, some crowds. It's everything now. Here we are. Walking with my Australian friend here today. There's a steeple. Amazing to see this. Let's see what's going on. There's a group of friends here. Cemetery here too as well. Wow. It's a big cemetery. A lot of uh, people. Beautiful. You guys can read that and figure out where I'm at. 1840. I'm going to 1840. All right. We're under 10 kilometers. 9.950. The landscape is still here and we're still going up. And I'm thinking we're almost to the top. We are getting close. Then it's going to be downhill into Santiago. So yeah, can you imagine? You say, you're almost there. It's going to be easy now. It's only 10k. Simple. <laughs> a few years ago, I was running 5k's, going, "Oh my God, this is horrible." Now I'm walking 10k. Yeah, okay, this is easy. We're almost there. Simple. So anyway, just keep on walking. But you know, still smiling. More to come. Okay. Two, three, four in the hours. So anyway, so I think we're getting top of the hill. It'd be nice if it went over there. It's probably going to be over there because that's kind of like the genre of this trail. Or maybe they'll make us walk over that first. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful. And these little things here, I want to stop and show you these little things. That little thing are everywhere. That's got a little, little like a little miniature house. And they are... Uh, Didn't I see you yesterday? Yes. So how was it there? It was good. Buen Camino, I'll see you in Santiago. So, anyway, so those things, I think, are for grain. They put the grain up there so the, the rodents don't get them. Yeah, we've been Hola. talking about that for, with a bunch of people. The what? Oras. Oras? What are the oras? This. Oh, the oh the there's one. There's one. I need it for grain. Yeah, they're just... Uh, they're all open on the side, so I guess you can store your stuff up there without uh, the rats. Anyway, yeah. these people are from England. They're back to them yesterday. Anyway, still clicking right along. Here I am. We're uh, getting close. As you see, oh, there's the mile marker. It's gone. It's, uh, as we get closer to society, we get, uh, you know, what society does. Damage things. The last, uh, um, let me see all the people up there ahead of me. It's a lot coming in, man. As you get closer to society, you get closer to the things society does. Like damage things, so. The trail has been, in the last 10 kilometers or so, those things are almost missing. Every one of them. I think they're part of the premium, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. So I'm not sure how far away I am. I will say that I've done 6.8 miles a day, I believe. Looking at 12, 2.50, um, 25 minutes. A little slow, I stopped with the Australian guy. He, uh, he stopped. I know this day's running along, but uh, 30 seconds. People are going downhill, so I think we made it to the top. Crested over it, and uh, 
Yeah, so we're on the downhill slope, which is exciting. And you can see there's just getting quite a lot of people in front of me. And you can probably think that there's probably five to ten times people behind me. So I guess I think those are the early birds. It's gonna be a big day. How's that? Chuck, that wasn't the last hill. I thought it was. We're still going up. This looks like the last hill though. I really think this is the last hill. Status check is 8.02 on the mileage. I still believe it's 12 to go. Three hours, 14 minutes. So, four miles, hour and a half, two hours. Easy day. My half things have changed in a few 11 days. But, uh, yeah, my God, four more, four more miles. Yeah, get that done. 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yeah, just a quick, uh, quick update on the hills. Okay, here we are, Santiago. We are inside five kilometers. We are on the down slope now. Yeah, and it's a down slope, all right. So yeah, these uh, we're close. Another hour, maybe. I don't know. 8.9, so we're at 9 miles, so about 3 miles, about an hour, we should be there. Uh, yeah, but uh, we're going, we're going, keep on trucking. I'm so lost, I'm walking around in circles in the city, I'm so lost. <laughs> he was like, oh, okay, go here, Send me to the center of the town to a big plaza, but that was on our way to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy, walking through little places. Trying to make my way that way, kind of. Anyway, more to follow. Oh, wait a minute, this looks huge. Maybe this is it. This is a big plaza. It's about a million people here, so we'll see. I don't hear the band playing no more. So I made it here. 4.53 hours, 12.44 miles. And I actually had to put on a few extra because you know. So, anyway, so as you can see behind me, there is the, there is the big church right there. We'll get more pictures of it later. But, here we are, there's this big thing here. Definitely the plaza. Don't know the main way in. We're trying to find that right now because somewhere I gotta find my hotel. That's gonna be the next on the agenda. I said I'd be there oh, between 11 and 1. That's 104, so hey. This is it. This is the end of the line for the pilgrims. If I can find the place where they came in, the normal place there track. I didn't have to add my extra miles. Anyway, I'm in. See, there was a, there was music playing when you get here. Now it's a hotel in the bar. The traditional way, the way I should have came in. <laughs> but hey, why not get lost in the last three kilometers? Okay. In the square, ran into Bree from San Luis Obispo Hola. that I met last night. She was having dinner with David, the Australian guy, which I was walking with today. <laughs> And, and her and I, I saw her, and she goes, I'm going to go get her. I go, yeah, well, let's go get him. And we got our Compostelas, and it only took us about, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe, if that. And nice. uh, it was quick. It was so fast. It was fast. And uh, we had to pay extra because, you know, not the certificates, and you want the two. So, yeah, so it was big time, three euros. So, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so we uh, we got it done. And I unbelievably 
happy that that's over. I don't have to worry about that because her and I both like, well, you get the QR code and you come back later. And sure enough, we registered, but they give us QR code just to get a line. It was uh, quicker than DMV, but kind of like DMV. It was <laughs> like, a, it was like a DMV. test. They're looking at the things and I didn't know what's going to pass. She didn't know she's going to pass, but we got it done. So anyway, more to follow, but uh, yeah, next thing, hotel. Soon. Buen Camino. Buen Camino. Okay, so now we have Bree from San Luis Obispo and David from Australia. And uh, I met Bree last night. I met uh, David yesterday on the trail. We walked together today again. And, and uh, wow, we all kind of ran to each other in Santiago. Imagine that. But we're here again. And cheers. Cheers. Cheers and no more kilometers. There's the sun going down here. You can see the, the, there's the plazas, the flags. The sun's going down right there. Not sure there's the crowds, but yeah, this is the picture for me. The sun's going down, man. This is the end of the 11th day. Happy to be here. Yeah, everybody's happy to be here. Long road for a lot of people.